Hey guys, Luna here, and we're here with a game called The Twins, which, if you recognize that symbol, then you must have seen my summoning video. And let me just, okay, good. The to be either the sequel or the prequel to the summoning. And so, this, like I said, most of these videos, these are the same people who've made it the test series, so and they're there to have a bigger plot at play with their chasing demons game. So here to just is out there and just hopefully open for people to help solve people doing things. So you've been taken upon curiosity by plunging headfirst into this game, otherwise known as the. I need to listen to. I need you to listen and read very carefully, and I only get to. But they are, and you only get with this one chance to comprehend it before continuing onward, into something you may not be entirely prepared for. Before continuing on, you'll need a few things. These items are absolutely imperative to your tax presented. To, to your tasks presented during this session. If you do not have these things, you're wasting your time entirely. It's highly recommended you play with headphones um, and just have good volume. Mirror or piece of No lights yourself. Let's be real here, you also need an open mind. So. Money was expensive. Money, money was spent up this. Yes, like I said. So if you, you won't get your money's worth if you fuck it up. So, that being said, this isn't something to be taken lightly. For more reason, for more than, for lightly, for more reasons than it's simply not working. Not working isn't is in the case. Is nothing happening? Of course, of course, I mean, very bad things happening. You ever thought about a ghost in your house? Maybe some other kind of entity? Something. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't, but after this session, you will, whether you want it or not, what you're about to do is not for the weak of mind or faint of heart. You think it's complete and all of bullshit. You may even think it, you, you may even think, even if it is as real as not. It was real, so. Let me tell you something, this is very, this, this is the same thing that they said in the previous game. Do you have luck? Look, look. It can come for many different reasons. And not made yourself. Just come from any. It can be any item. Maybe you don't live alone. Maybe something that someone else has. Yada yada yada. So, if you want to read this, you you can. But yeah, child spirits can travel a lot further than you think. If you have neighbors and they're haunted, you. You could be hunted through them. Two specific spirits. Two spirits who are you going to call upon and write into your home? Because what could possibly go wrong? Well, we'll find out, won't we? That being said, you're about to embark upon is far beyond the realist experience you'll ever get to have in your life if done properly. Now, there are rules, of course. So, for example, you gotta be alone, and the people with you have to participate, and they have to be willing. If you start this process and, s and s do not see it through the end, it won't work. You have to follow each instruction perfectly, or, or, or else bad things happen. So, yeah, so. Yes, and obviously anything that happens from this experience is uh, not our life, but it's not our fault, so. Based on the previous game, it will probably take close words to an hour, so... Uh... So... And, yeah, basically, it's like you have to... Don't like handles, because that's very... Very important to never light candles. <laughs> um, 
Got one chance. So yes, I'm ready to continue. Been warned about all the things that could happen. And again, we're in the same room of the test building. This time we're uh But I can't remember last time if we were fate or choices, but this time we're destiny. Last and middle. I'm not going to say that name out loud. So, uh, if people don't have middle names, that'll be a little awkward. Obviously, I can't use initials. And make sure you write your full name in this entirely. Finally, you're going to take that piece of paper with a simple name, room upon it, and read your name out loud while staring into the meter. Your reader name out loud once, twice, thrice, three times aloud, your name will be read. Now, the room that the mirror is should be darkened. You should not you should not have a light guy eating you here. Once you've completed this step, return to your device with this piece of paper. Get ready for, the, for any following instructions. Well, since I do not want to say my real name out loud, I will say my fake name. Luna Mare, Luna Mare, Luna Mare. Gain the following steps for this ritual. Search around the room and interact with any or all objects that may present themselves to you when, you're, when they're ready. These items may be appear randomly, but I assure you that I, items will always appear to each individual in the order they're meant for the ritual's work. Good luck. Often use in many rituals, not excluding demonic. Bear in mind and continue exploration. Yeah, so. Take it, you can end your session here, so. Smart decisions, we are to take count and waste of time. Only the brave will prevail. Hear them hide. Hear them hide. There's a table here. This newsroom is different. Tilly next, mother called to beckon shod within the walls, kept hidden away in chance of aid, no soul knew, no Wrapped from fing fingertips to suffocate, tear, choke, and rip. Around the neck, the wire goes, severed head rolls over toes. Tilly was born for this, more vile, toxic, twisted, and cis. Joy only fallen in death's wakes, consciousness, empathy, weakness, forsake. So, you've basically born a killer. Fire burns from tree to tree, deathly screams of agony, families of ash upon pyre, butchers fueled by with vile desire. A curse planted near, curse of fire, pick of lamb's head inside a jar, nox, eye of a frog, a hag rises silently from the fog, a man enchanted, a wash of brain, 
Loins filled with seed to sustain, a life is brought forth to bring death. A quiet murmur begs for one more breath, chad sewn together and neatly stitched. A night unholy, black as pitch, in Father's workshop they were made, but Father's workshop they did not stay. So, these two children were created. You must follow these next instructions very carefully. It is the most, most important, so pay close attention to the following. You must write, your na write the names Tracy and Tui on the piece of Look into the mirror and stare deeply into your own eyes. Do not break eye contact with yourself while you do this. Read the following words six times over. Tracy Tilly, I invite you to play. Yeah, so if you and once you repeat these words uh, six times, you can break eye contact and come back to your choice. Make sure the light room is entirely dark as you do this. camera and looking back at me. Obviously, if the lights are on, they may not reveal themselves to you. Since doing this with the no with during the daytime, can't really turn off the lights. So, um, yeah, let's switch this. Uh, Tracy Tilly, I invite you to play. 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 Make their presence known to you, ignore them entirely, and quickly revert back to your device to continue the rituals. And there is. The bed was added in. Mother's bed, warm, loving, fluttered, heart, heart and bloodstained sheets, screams echoed yet muffed, soul retreating from empty, cold, barren husk, sunshine painted on misery, dawn painted on dusk, her feet a dissected corpse, to blood flows to the next destination, clotted, vaguely spent, stingy veins and sharing, a little girl watches, lone, uncaring, her first victim down, many to go, her own flesh and blood repeated, Reaped not sown, floodgates of laughter is filling silent abyss. Feeling of sorrow has gone amiss. Your grandmother's feet dragging across your floor. Listen carefully. The twins bear, the, from the bed before, teddy bear share, teddy bear torn, from jagged edge and twisted and thorn, father made a bear for them, stitch of fabric neatly hemmed, teddy bear share, teddy bear sought, who wore her teddy bear off and fought the girl's evil of heart and ill intent, terror bear was put to the dungeon, was sent, rescue teddy from the depths, dark dangers and hidden kept, wooden stairs of rickety and rack, pain for nails of rusted and tacked. Bloody foot travels step by step to rescue Teddy Bear from the deaths, but the mothers waited in darkness, darkness shade, and girl's intent was transparent me. Teddy twisted and torn and Teddy chattered, the girl's heart's whole and malice shattered. Ventures sought till ventures gained, a better thought of malice remained. So, basically, once the bear is torn, that's essentially their heart. So it's written so it shall come to pass. You've embarked upon a journey you may not escape. Rituals poured from wicked deeds, written spite, hatred, malice, vengeance, and all things unholy. You must finish what you started. You cannot quit, you cannot surrender. For if you stop the process now, they will never leave. 
By accepting the agreement you made a pact with the twins, you did not know what you were doing, but they did. They're watching you now. They can hear you, see you. Have you seen them move in the shadows? Have you heard the pitter-patter of the low feet? The gateway was opened. You were warned, yet you chose to agree. Except the agreement anyways. I'm sorry for all of those affected by those violence. I could not let them haunt me any longer. The witch, their mother, is the same woman responsible for such a misery in the same world today. Elgar von Stein, mother of the tw twin evils, wicked witch of the bot, a destroyer of innocence, twister of fate, and summoner of the demonic. I had no other choice. She haunts my dreams. They all do. Her demons are spawn her curses. You will see them at night, you know. You will see them when you close your eyes. They will forever haunt your dreams until you stop them. And how do you know that which does not want to be stopped? You continue you continue on into the most uncomfortable of moments, leading through ritual after ritual I should ask of you. A regretful message from a friend. Good luck. <laughs> and now you guys are here with me. And as you're watching the video, you're only gonna be having to go through the same thing as they're spreading to you too. Bloody birthday kisses from wicked lips, crimson stained mouth from deep topped with, with flesh baked and granny ghoul souls. Bloody birthday girls with bloody birthday smiles, crimson stained floorboards over bloody stained stills, bloody birthday gifts from bloody birthday hands. Bloody gifted pets such as cats and but dogs and cats and bloody fishes, bloody celebrations of bloody birthday screams, bloody birthday cakes topped with bloody birthday queens. <sighs> A lot of bloody. Watch your objects. If they move on their own, you know they're here. Better. You must follow these next instructions very carefully. It is the utmost importance to so pay close attention to the following. You must write the words Happy Birthday Tracing Chili upon the paper you've been using for the ritual, so Happy Birthday H A C and Tilly. Now look into your mirror and stare deeply into your own eyes. Do not break eye contact with yourself while you do this. Repeat the following words six times over. Happy birthday, Tracy and Tilly. Come and claim your gift. So, this indie thinks you can hear that I am doing this. So, birthday, Tracy and Tilly. Come and claim your birthday gift. That, nope, did that wrong. Happy birthday, Tracy and Tilly. I, wait, no, I broke eye contact. Happy birthday, Tracy and Tilly, come and claim your gift. Happy birthday, Tracy and Tilly, come and claim your gift. Happy birthday, Tracy and Tilly, come and claim your gift. Repeat the words six times. You may break eye contact and come back to your advice. Make sure the room is entirely dark as you do this. If the lights are on, they may not reveal themselves to you. You may hear the girls around you as they look around for what they wish to take from you. Hopefully, it's not too severe. She's hi, Olga. Uh, nothing up here. There's another bookshelf here now. The favorite toy of the twins were dolls made so well, father stitched and sewn until fingers begin to swell. Hours upon hours of craft, rip, tear, and break, once completed, wash and scrubbed, then mother's wicked lake. Loved by twins with glee, moving as if set free, dolls that walk and Love dolls, song. Huh? Let's see what else here. The dolls are watching you. <laughs> Tilly, the one name, one half evil, and Tracy, the name of the other. Ch child twins of crafty dolls. Years they laughed and played until all of innocence was ripped away. As mother called them near, gathered around to ear to ear, words shook like venom from mother's tongue. I can't man my daughters to slay. 
Tracy grabbed the kitchen sheets to Grandma's room. Her shadow was near. The creak the slowly, door slowly cracked as the child prepared for an attack. Grandma sleeping in her bed, a peaceful look upon her head. Mother will be proud of me, thought Tracy, without sympathy. Without sympathy. Just as she lunged, shoes in hand, a lifetime ended with a final grain of sand. Our glass flowed the sands of time. Grandmother's throat slipped in perfect line. Perfected line. She gurgled with blood in her throat. Words escaped not from the crim- neck from crimson soaked. Tracy gazed upon the death with a smile, and knowing her mother's heart, she would... Little Jess for little twin, little Jess spun out of sin, little Jess upon little flame, little evil played little games. Little laughter from little lips, little hands from scissors grips, little slash and little tear, little whispers of little stares. Little blood on garments worn, little skin and from bodies torn, little brain pulled from little nose, little fat lash wrapped frame, frame stuck with little pose. Head of twin did, it did lay, as tormented father began to pray. What have I done? said father dear, as wicked mother smiled from shadow near. A masterpiece crafted, said wicked mother, from either lips touted from one level to another. Our daughters' dolls, their dolls in flesh. Upon why frame I spun and mesh, and by your decree I claim their life. How can I forgive myself, my beloved wife? Evil were evil still, even imperishes the will. You can keep that eye for things that have gone missing. If they can hear their laughter. Mm-hmm. Tormented man hung from ceiling high, which is what we have explained before, by noose of grip his neck did cry, ringing of ears and snap of bone from high above stairs, his body prone. Forgive not, forgive never, life and guilt refuse to sever. Palm floors of creek his spirits haunt, as wicked mother smiles with wicked taunts. A foolish man begin, by guile, by love, heart strings tugged, push and shoved. A witch of venom her words did pour, but what misery hath her burdens bore? Love these poems, they're very spooky. You can hear his body sway the creak of the rope. It is of utmost importance that you do as I beg of you, as I do not have much time to explain what's going on here. You must break the curse set by Helga von Stein. This is one of many that you have begun to cast upon yourself. Not only does her spirit haunt your residence, but so does that of her evil daughters and her tormented husband. You do not know what you are dealing with when you begun this process, for that I am deeply regretful. If you see her, do not speak to her. If you hear her children, do not listen. If you see their father, do not stare into the eyes of misery. They will haunt you forever if you do not finish your task. Please put an X to every written word thus far in your paper. Put an X to the symbol of you. This will not buy you much time, but it make it harder for that. That demonic entity to read as the X changes the symbol and the words. Continue on, or you'll never, uh, con- continue, you know, or you'll never escape their hauntings. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even get to see what that said. <laughs> So, if you thought if you thought this was bullshit, you were wrong. I'm sorry.
Ring placed upon a little finger, a necklace placed around the neck of singer. A painful wail did they leave her throat, as cries of fear as to the top did float. Twins of evil made into dolls, drowned in lakes and made to crawl. Upon lands were spiked and blood were strained, to make rosy lipstick of painful stain. Beautiful life of forever beautifully dead, in crimson moonlight the words were said. Wicked mother cast wicked spells upon heads cursed with wicked bells. A ringing in the ear and bucket of blood did pour from veins like dams did flood. Daughters rose from dead of night to taunt forevermore and spread their blights. If your jewelry goes missing, they're still with you. Lids snapped and bone dice, fingers ripped from socket holes, concise and to pay the toll. Workshop of father, mother's play, daughter's prison, their souls did say. Buried bones and boxes neat, wasted parts to dogs for treats. The more you know, the less safe you become. Is that a, okay? Yeah, that's a dress. I was supposed to say, like, obviously, I knew that was the dress, but like, if you look at it, it might almost look like a head. It's a blood drain from the vein. Father, father's pleads and cries in vain. Mother's wishes ropes rose to the top upon wicked throne, her envy hot. Jealous of beautiful, beautiful twins, mother drained them of their sins. Punishment for beauty greater than own, to live as dolls forever alone. Cast from father's sight, they were wicked. With wicked tongues did hatred spur on the night of envy, and the girls were gone. The queen hung the king, treated as pawn. Interesting, interesting uh, simile, simile to the or metaphor for the chessboard. Talk to me. And the I should see if there's anything. That's such misery, so much death, now it is your burden. Tell you the name of the one half, name of one half evil and Tracy, the name of the other child twins of crafty doll, doll making tricked by a wicked mother. Seven years they laughed and played until all innocence ripped away as the mother beckoned and called them near, gathered around ear to ear. Wicked trickled like venom's tongue, I command my daughters to slay. This is gonna be Tilly. She used to gap the kitchen shears to grandmother's room and her shadow neared creak as its hoof. Door slowly cracked as the child prepared to attack. Grandma's sleeping bed peacefully look. Yeah, she see without sympathy. Give them hide. Evidence buried deep underground, evidence burned, silent as sound, clues and blood written upon page, ritual set in the newfound sage. Oh, there's nothing. You've unlocked the final seal, you push phantoms to the world of real, you've let loose the evils into your home, you trusted those who now roam free. A curse is cast upon, cur a curse is cast upon thy head, a curse from wicked demons said, a curse upon your house is cast, ungrave the girls, ungrave them fast. Missouri time is not on your side. Uh, I see, can see him sitting in the chair. The man should take make it to the end or the beginning. However, I have some good news and some great news. The good news is you managed to complete all the rituals. You brought yourself a little bit of time. What you've managed to unknowingly unleash into your life. Do not complete the rituals properly and you skip through them, you've got much less time to sort it all out, then you realize, either way, there's one and one way only to break the curse. Allegra has convinced to bestow upon your livelihood. I use the term break the curse loosely, as the curse can never be truly broken, and it can be passed on. If you want the twins to leave, you must offer them another person in return. You must find someone else to carry out the same rituals presented here and follow, and follow all the instructions laid out before them.
Never wanted me to scare it, but her will, it wasn't a choice. I had to do what she commanded. But if I could find a way to lay this out simply, then people like you could just keep passing her on and on and on and stay safe. The problem is, you don't have an infinite amount of time. Time is not on your side at all, actually. I'll go once. You've already seen her. Maybe the twins, the father. Maybe she's in your head, maybe you heard her voice. She'll haunt your dreams, she'll not let you sleep. She will never leave until she gets what she wants. You must find someone to pass the pass her on to you and write their name down on a piece of paper you use for the rituals. Okay. And do not tell them anything about this session. Do not tell them what they tell them what to expect. Just tell them what they must complete what they what they started. You can be there with them to help guide them through you, through it if you wish, but they must finish it in order for her to leave you alone. Sees her children to someone else before she takes you. And obviously these the people who made this are not acceptable for anything. Hi, Helga. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Just forever guide your path, forever it might lead you.